So my machine's running. On my machine, again, this panel kind of represents the fictitious machine. It's got two zones. One zone has a, a locking door represented by my D4SL dash N door switch and my servo. So say, again, behind that door, there's some type of, of hazard created by the servo, you know, like a rotating knife blade or something. So I want to make sure that stopped before I let anybody in there. But at the same time, I don't want to shut down the rest of my process. So what I can do is I can then go over, I can zone switch by going manual mode, five second delay to tell the control system to stop. And then after the five seconds, it removed power from my servos, which would be connected by this cable. I can then go into that hazardous portion of my machine. So I can open the door. And at the same time, as an extra precaution, I can take the key with me up from my trap key switch. So this would allow if somebody came along and locked, you know, locked, tried to lock the door, the machine wouldn't run until this key is put back in. So again, if I'm not done my process or my maintenance, it won't let it start back up. So let's just say that now I'm done my process. I put the key in the switch, but before I press it, I want to reset that portion of the safety circuit. So when I press it, solid, meaning that it's reset. My request to enter button is no longer flashing. It's still in a partial bypass mode as indicated by my flashing green light and my yellow light. So I then place it into auto mode. So now in auto mode, it says, OK, you can now start that portion or that zone of the machine back up. So by pressing my start button, I can now start my servo back up and my process continues.